Ito po muli si Father Dave sa ating Deep of a Father that we may become a better person today than yesterday. I hope na sa mabuti kayong kalalagayan. I hope you are well, getting well. Please stay well. We we share the joy with the people who whose prayers were answered. Maganda rin yung nagbabasa ka sa umaga ng mga answered prayers. Father, gumaling na po, nakalabas na po ng hospital. Father, negative na po. Maganda rin yun. Pero pag kami isan, kahit isang daan ang binasa mong ganon, Father, wala na po siya. Ay, nako. Talagang pag hindi tayo nag-iingat, ano pa? Ano po ang tanong? Balik tayo sa Bible kasi Bible Week. Eh, ano pa? Anyway, ay, ay, how would I say this? For those who have joined the joy of discovery, I hope you have discovered something new and good. Yung pong gustong umaten ng Bible study, ano pa? They have two tracks for men and for women. Uh, it's good to study. It's good to study. Anong tanong? Ang tanong po ay, how can I, how can I understand better the difference between the Gospels of Mark, Luke, and Matthew, and John, and the letters, the epistles, the letter of Paul, or the different books in the Bible. Alam po ninyo, isa sa pinakamahirap na subject sa seminary, Old and New Testament. Ay, nako. Ha? Old and New Testament. Yan ang pinakamahirap. And other subject with, re with regard to the scriptures. But suggestion, ano po? As I have said, huwag kayo magsisimula sa book of Genesis. Ano po? Huwag kayo magsisimula sa book of Genesis. Pagdating nyo sa numbers, wala na kayo. Titigil na kayo. Pero pag naintindihan nyo naman, later on, ma-appreciate nyo. Yung pala mga punsoy, pungsoy na yan, kinuha lang pala yan sa book of numbers. Oh. Kaya huwag kayo maniniwala sa pungsoy. Ano po? Yung iba dyan, kinopia lang. Oh. Oh, bigla kayo interesado magbasa ng numbers. Ha? Anyway, if you want to have a better understanding, or perhaps it will be easier for you to understand the things you have been reading, there are, there are Bibles, I do not know the Bible you, you bought, that in every, in every book, in every book, there is an introduction, an introduction. You read the introduction. Halimbawa, the Gospel of St. Mark. You read the introduction. It is written to whom? For in what context? Para pag binabasa ninyo, ah, kaya pala niya sinabi yun. Ano po? Bibigyan ko po kayo ng sample. Halimbawa po, the gospel according to St. Mark. Ang introduction, this is the shortest of all New Testament gospel. is likely the first to have been written. Yet, It often tells of Jesus' ministry in a more detail than either Matthew and Luke. So, yung, yung kanyang pagsusulat, mas detalye. Ano po? Mas detalye. It recounts what Jesus did in the vivid style where one incident follows directly upon another. Para bagang 
sunod-sunod yung kwento. Sunod-sunod yung kwento. Mas maintindihan mo. Ano po? Mark or the Gospel of Mark stresses Jesus' message about the kingdom of God now breaking into human life as good news. Mas naintindihan mo. Ano po? Mahaba yung introduction. The key verses of Mark which are pro- pro- programmatic summarize what Jesus proclaimed as the gospel. Fulfillment, the nearest of the kingdom, and therefore the need for repentance and for faith. Kaya palaging, this is a time of fulfillment. Repent. Palaging ganon si Saint Mark. Ano po? Palaging ganon. Saint Mark, in Saint Mark, Jesus is put portrayed as immensely popular with people in Galilee during his ministry. Popular. San ba yung Galilee? Ano po? Galilee is the the water, the main, yung the Sea of Galilee. Doon ang kanyang ministry. Popular siya doon. Dahil sa mga milagro niya. So and and so forth. Di ko na babasahin yung iba. Ano pa? But the Gospel of Saint Mark ends in the most ancient manuscript with an abrupt scene at Jesus' tomb which the women found empty. His own prophecy on Mark 14.28 is reiterated that Jesus goes before the disciples into Galilee. There you will see him. These words may imply resurrection, appearance, or Jesus' parousia there. Pagkatapos nang wala ng kwento. Hindi katulad na ibang gospel. Ano pa? Haba yung introduction. Pipiliin ko na lang yung mas maintindihan. Ano pa? Traditionally, the Gospel of St. Mark said to have been written shortly before 70 A.D. Ay namatay si Kristo ng 33. Can you, can you imagine? Almost 40 years bago na isulat yan. Almost 40 years. So kung, kung kayo po ay Kung inyo pong titingnan, ano po, ang Gospel ni Sir Mark divided only into four. From chapter 1, 1 to 13, the preparation for the public ministry of Jesus. Kay St. Mark, wala yung the, the birth, wala ano po, ministry kaagad. Chapter 1 to 8, the ministry of Jesus. Chapter 8 to 9, the mystery begins to be revealed. Chapter 9 to 16, the full revelation of the mystery. Tapos 16, the last part of 16, the endings. Make silang, make silang, ano pa? What I'm, what I'm really trying to tell you is, kung gusto mong naintindihan para hindi ka nalilito, ano po, tingnan mo, kanino ba ito nakasulat? Kanino ba ito sinulat? Ano po? Ang isa sa hindi ko makalimutan sa teacher ko, sa scripture kay Father, the late Father Jerry Tapiador. Sabi niya, pag binabasa niyo ang letter ni St. Paul sa Galatians, tandaan niyo, galit siya. O, oh, di ba, ano? So, madaling tandaan, ano? Letter of Paul to the Galatians. Galit si St. Paul. Pag binasa mo nga naman, galit nga. Ano po? Galit. So, para madaling maintindihan. You understand the context. As I've said, don't read it as a novel. Read it stories per stories. Never read it, or I don't suggest that you read it chapter per chapter. Kasi, 
Katulad nun, yung first part, introduction, tapos mga miracles, alam, ah, oh. so maintindihan mo na. Maintindihan mo na. Pagkatapos ng mga milagrong ginawa, yun, nagpakilala na. Tapos, dahil nakilala na, oh, pinag, pinagbalakan na at pinatay. At, palagi na nabubuhay ano po sapagkat walang saysay ang ating pananampalataya kung si Kristo hindi muling nabuhay ano po Christmas is beautiful sometimes romantic but the essence of the message of the gospel is in the resurrection pag ikaw ay pinanganak palaging sabi oh cute 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 di ba ano yung tatay mo, dati nag-overtime, ay, uuwi na yan kasi gusto makikikalong. Tapos may inis ka kasi makikipag-unahan pa yung lola mo, di ba? No? Ay, ganyan yung mga lola, yung nangaagaw pa eh. Ano po? Tapos pag umihi na, ano, ayaw ko na. Ano? Pero ang tunay na kwento, hindi yung ikaw ay pinanganak. Ang tunay na kwento ay, anong nangyari pagkatapos? Anong nangyari pagkatapos? Pag may ano nga eh, pag, pag, pag nakita, no, ay, ang pogi, kamukha mo, ay, kamukha, ay, akin yan, kamukha ko. ba diba, no? Yan ang mga kwento eh. Pero pag ikaw ay matanda na, at nagagalit na sa iyo, yung nanay mo, no? ano sabi, katulad ka ng tatay mo. No? Kasi yung, ko ano yung, kung ano yung kinagagalit sa tatay, di ba? No? Ha? Ganyan talaga. Anong kwento mo? You understand the gospel, the readings, the Bible, the epistles, later on, the Old Testament, when you read it, bakit ba ito puro ganito, puro ganyan? Because it is part of the law. Ano? Ah, kaya pala, lahat na lang na sinulat, ganun. Ano po? Bakit ba ganito? Puro measurement. Ay kasi it's about instructions. Ah, okay, ganun pala eh. So hopefully, hopefully, when you try to educate, ano ba? When you try to engage yourself in reading the scriptures, little by little, little by little, and pray that you will have that you will be able to love the Word. And who is the Word? Jesus. If you love Jesus, you will love His Word. If you can memorize some verses, not all, that's good. So that when you are praying, you can recall something. When you have problems, you can recall something. Di po ba? Kaya nga, Palagi ko sinasabi, life is only 70, 80 for those who are strong. Pag tumatanda ka na, yun ang mga Bible, mga Bible verse mo. Eh, no po? Bible. Pag ikaw ay naghihirap, the Lord provides. Yeah, di ba? Ha? Pag ikaw ay medyo palpakan ng nangyayari, all things work for good on those who love the Lord. Yan. Ha? Pag ikaw ay may hinihingi, May God take delights that He may grant my heart's desire. Oh, di at least meron kang ganun. Di po ba, ano? Meron ka. Ha? Pag ikaw ay galit, galit ka doon sa tao, sasabihin mo, you fool, God will take your life tonight. <laughs> di ba? Ay, nagmi-memory. Meron ka na may memory, paunti-unti. Pero ang aking suggestion, huwag mo memory yung lahat. May kilala ako, eh, nagmi-memory, eh, nasira ang ulo. Ano po? Ha? Nagsisimba pero sira na ang ulo. Ano po? Ay, no. So, it was not written to be memorized. It was written to be practiced. Again, ito po si Father Dave sa ating Di po ba, Father, that we may become a better person today than yesterday? Nakalimutan ko. Batiin po natin ang mga taga-kaintarisal. Kaintarisal. Batiin din natin ang taga-kalamba kung saan si Rizal ay nakatira noon. Ano pa? Nagpapabati ang mga taga-bagyo. 
malamig daw sa Baguio. Buti naman. Ano po? Mag-ingat kayo. Madami na naman kayong COVID dyan. Ano po? Tagaibang bansa, batiin po natin ang mga taga Singapore, Cambodia, Cambodia, ano po? Ang mga walang humpay na nakikinig at nangungulit, ang mga taga Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, ano po? Vancouver, Canada. Ito mga bago ito. Ay, hindi, alam ko na ito. Anchorage, Alaska. Ano po? Binabati po natin mga taga Anchorage, Alaska. Itong bago, hindi ko alam ito. Bromley. Bromley ba? London. Bromley, London. B-R-O-M-L-E-Y. Bromley, London. Ingat po. Ano po? Ingat. Ha? Grabe ang COVID sa ibang bansa. Ano po? Patay agad. Ha? Patay agad. Ingat po. Ano po? Muli po si Father Dave sa ating hindi po ba, Father? God bless.